I always thought that Meringue was my best horse stat-wise because, you know, the game told me that she was, you know, sort by stats. Meringue comes out up top. And don't get me wrong, she does have some good stats, like 95 stamina, 79 speed is not bad too, she has good stats. But what I didn't realize is that this sort by stats only takes into account the stat that your horse is currently trained to. It does not take into account your, like, what stats your horse would be if it was maxed. Um, so what I realized is that some of my lower stat horses actually have some pretty good stats. Take this one for example. It has 98 speed and it m is my second lowest stat ranked horse. So what I realized is I probably have a horse that has, that is faster and has better stats than my top current horse and i usually use meringue for horses and grinding around because you know she's always been the fastest and stuff and of course she's my favorite um but i realize that i can make another i can find another horse that has better stats hello everybody i'm lemon and today we are going to be finding my best stat horse and we are going to be finding that horse in my inventory we are going to be training that horse up making a tack for that horse and basically just making it the fastest horse and best for racing that it can be um so what i already did is i sorted through all of my horses clicked on their stats looked at their stats and decided whether or not it was worthy of being a super fast race horse. So what I did is I named any horse that I thought could be pretty good. I named that horse Speedy um, just to organize it so I can keep all of the horses that I think have a chance of being my fastest race horse um, in one thing. So if we go ahead and search Speedy, these are the horses that I ended up picking out of my inventory. So out of these horses, we need to find one that is the best. Okay, so this clip here was basically just me talking and comparing stats, which was kind of boring to listen to. So I sped it up, and you guys can hear me compare my final two horses uh, that are competing for my top horse. Okay, basically now it's between stamina versus speed. Oh, if only I could combine these two horses. Wait, can I breed them? No, they're both mares. Sad. Okay, so now I just need to pick, do I want more stamina or do I want more speed? Because it depends on, I guess it depends on the race. Like if it's a short race, I would use this one because of its high speed. But if it's a longer race, I would use this one because of the stamina. Okay, uh, oh, I can't pick. Let's look at the strengths. This one has 51 strength. This one has 50 strength. Okay, pretty close. This one has better jump stat and agility. Um, okay, so I guess I'll have to go with this one. Just like stamina wise, I would say that that one is more of use to me. Because when I'm grinding for a while, I like to have plenty of stamina. Or if I'm training like my horse to get training receipts, stamina comes in pretty handy. So we will keep you on the side. I might come back and make a good horse. Like, I might, I might even just have two good race horses, depending on the race that I can just flip through. So we'll have them both here, but I think our main one is going to be this one here, and I believe that it was given to me by a fan. So thank you so much for this horse. It has my, the best stats out of all my horses here, so that's awesome. Okay, so now that we found our fastest horse, oh wait, it's a spooky horse too. I just realized it's spooky. This one's lazy. Okay, that one's lazy, so that would probably not be helpful. I just caught this one today as well, <laughs> or today as in the time of me recording this. Um, okay, so we got you here. Here, first up, let's increase your bond because our racehorse needs to have some love as well. We can't, we can't have our racehorse have zero hearts. Okay, there we go. And I don't feel like taking the time and training you all the way up. So we're just going to spend our coins over here at Steven the Horse Trainer. Oh, free coins. Perfect. And here we go. Can you train my... Yeah, see, this one's like midway down the stat thing. And it's like my best stat horse. Okay, train to max. This is going to be very expensive, you guys, I bet. Oh my gosh. 
oh man look at how much it is you guys this is gonna be like ten thousand. Oh my gosh <laughs> this is super expensive 9,000 coins but it would take a lot of time to train up there there we accepted it thank you oh my gosh look at it. it just sprays all of that <laughs> oh my gosh that's so funny wait let's see does it go up yeah look now it is at the top as my horse with best stats up there this horse now has the best stats okay and with the best stats we need to have the best tack so we are going to be crafting some of the some very good bridles and harnesses okay agility these seem to mostly affect agility oh this one helps stamina dressage here let me let me take a look and figure out which stamp which uh bridle would be best give me a moment Okay, that took me a minute to think, but I think we're going to want a dressage bridle. I'm debating between the fancy one and the regular one. So this one has, it gives you plus 0.36 stamina and 0.24 agility. And this one gives you 0.70 stamina and 0.30 agility. Wait oh wait yeah this one is better what am i debating about okay so we're going to get the fancy dressage bridle and of course we have to make it the highest tier because that will give us even more strength i think so we got the prismatic there it's the strongest okay and then we also need to make a tack set for you um because it has to look nice as well you guys so hmm let me think of some color schemes that i could do with this it's the buckskin so maybe would a neon tack set look good with that or should i just do a white one i think white would look pretty nice or we could do black we could do a black one hmm. let's see what accessories do we have that could go with it i'm not really sure i mostly have summer accessories free I can always go back and change this later, I guess, if I don't like the tack set, but I think I'm going to go with um, black, I believe. Maybe I'll do like a black and gold color scheme. Okay, so there we go. We have got our fancy... Oh, yes, the prismatic definitely, definitely helped um, with the stats. Yeah, I get plus 15.57%. Look... Ooh, ooh, that is good. This is good. And I like the black on this. This looks pretty nice. Okay, now we gotta craft our saddle. So, let's take a look at these saddles. Give me a minute to look them all over real quick. Okay, this one's probably pretty obvious, but we're going to go with the racing saddle because of the speed. It gives you, um, plus, uh, 0.70 uh, percent speed and plus 0.30 percent stamina and then with our tier it gives us a ton more so plus 30 percent speed that is very good you guys so that is that's really good that's very good <laughs> okay so we're gonna craft this racing saddle here let's wear it and let's see oh ooh, this is so good look at how much stamina we got 126 <gasps> Okay, and we've got a bunch of speed now as well. And if we go to Training Island and trade this to the plus five. Okay, let's see. Do we have any other tech that will assist? I don't think so. I th oh, we could do a saddle pad. What other color should we do? Because I think that the black and the prismatic looks pretty nice. I think the black definitely... I think we made the right choice color-wise with this. Should we add these boppers on? <laughs> look at our horse this looks so funny i feel now that we shouldn't add that oh and we have to add our shoes so a very very nice fan gave me some emerald horseshoes and that is just amazing she somehow got her login streak up to like a hundred i think and then she because uh horseshoes are login streak unique and she made it up to there 
and so she had a bunch of very good horseshoes and she gave me one so thank you so much um for giving me these horseshoes those definitely help out i need to get my streak up my current streak what is our current streak at login rewards we're at day 25 um okay we're actually not doing too bad i thought it was lower we're at day 25 yeah and then you can get horseshoes like bronze is our next one Oh, and then there's copper up here. Because I want to try and get to prismatic horseshoes. So then we can add it on to our horse. And we're probably going to rename our horse as well. Because, I mean, I guess we could keep it speedy. Because it's a fast horse. I mean, I mean, I guess it fits. Okay, let's go back to looking at our accessories. Should we just keep it at this for now? This might be cute. Okay, that actually looks pretty cute. I don't, yeah, that looks cute. I think we'll keep that. I might change it later, though. Should we do the angelic aura? Yeah, I know. That was beautiful. That was so beautiful. Should we keep I feel like that might overwhelm me when we're racing though. Here, we'll just keep it at this for now. We'll keep it at this. So this is our fast horse. How fast do you go? Oh, you go so fast. You guys, if you ever see me in game. I have a super good race horse now. Okay, I headed on over to Training Island since we are going to do some training stuff next. But the one downside about this horse is it does have a spooky personality and that could be problematic in the races that have um, hurdles because it could get spooked. So I think what we're going to do is change our horse's personality here. And I think we're going to make it easy going because that would just be the easiest and it can go along very well during, during um, trading and stuff. So we're changing it to easy going. There we go. Our horse is now easy going. And now what we need to do now, you guys, is train our horse um, up to plus three, I think, because it is not purebred. I believe that this buckskin coat... I. I'm not sure what breed it was originally from. It is a legacy coat, so it's not from the Arabians. Um, so therefore, it's not purebred. But for purebred horses, you can train your horse um, five o plus five over the max stat. And for non-purebred horses, you can train it plus three over the max stat. So we will be training her stats plus three more than the stat cap. Um, I think that the best race to do to train all of your stats would probably be the cross country because i think that race wait where is cross country where am i going it's over here i think cross country trains up all of your stats which is what we need right now so we're gonna do be doing some training to make our horse the absolute best okay so this race actually went so smooth um with the fast um stats like it went pretty well through the water as well and it did not run out of stamina so i could gallop the whole time which was probably the most helpful part of um doing this race with a fast horse okay after doing the one cross country race i realized that this is going to take a little while to train up my horse to the max so I'm just going to cut off and I will see you guys again when my horse is fully trained. Okay, hello everybody. We are back once again. Okay, so it was actually taking quite a long time to train. So I just maxed out um, her speed stat because I figured the other stats like aren't as important. Well, they're still important, but you know, I was mostly looking to upgrade the speed um, so I can do some more training later, but for this video, this is car her stats. Oh, and I forgot to mention to you guys, but I renamed her. Um, so instead of Speedy, because Speedy was never really her name, it was just something I used to organize all my fast horses, her name is now Carmel. So this is Carmel. Um, also, we have to figure out her favorite food, because you know what? Um, food can give your horse better, um, or speed, like, when you feed your horse their favorite food, it gives them plus 10%, I think, for 30 seconds. Also, my camera's being weird right now, I'm, like, off-center, don't ask me why, because I don't know. So, we're gonna be testing out some foods here. We will start off with oranges, because why not? Is that it? No, it's not, not oranges, you don't like oranges, okay. It also was not corn. 
or carrots, or strawberries, or even blackberries. It's probably going to be like the last thing that we try. Raspberries. Oh, it's raspberries. Okay, so we found their favorite food. Carmel's favorite food is a raspberry. Raspberries are delicious. I like your choice in favorite fruits or foods. Um, but yeah, so this is our horse. It is our new fastest racing horse. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video of me picking her out, training her up, tacking her up, picking her name, and stuff like that. I thought that this would be fun to do a video like this because I don't really think that I've done one like this before. Um, yeah, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Subscribe for more Wild Horse Islands content. Goodbye, everybody.